Today I'm going to share with you how I was able to apply three different colors on the same cup. This cup started in design and development with a friend of mine who's a avid Harley rider and also happens to be in the National Guard as an E7. So he wanted to represent all of that and a lot of times we refer to this as our mullet cup, business up front and party in the back. So here you can see I'm applying the first color which ultimately will be the stripes representing his E7 rank in the National Guard. So after applying the gold to the areas where the stripes are going to be ultimately, I clean up the stand and lower it so that I can put it in the oven to cure for about 75%. I want the yellow to be or the gold to be good and firm before I apply any vinyl to it. All right, back out of the oven, 75% cure. I'm applying vinyl as a mask initially as I apply the second color, which will be white. And that will ultimately be the Harley Davidson logo and also both name tags. The name tag for the military side, which will be his last name, and the first name, which is his casual party name. I'd also like to mention this is my second attempt at this cup. The previous night I had done everything pretty much the same with one exception. For some reason I pulled the cup out of the oven after curing the white for three minutes just totally inadvertently and it totally screwed up the cup. So make sure you get it to at least 75% cure before pulling it from the oven and putting any vinyl on it. Also want to mention I did remove the vinyl right now before putting it back in the oven. That way I could just do the uh, curing of the white to the point where I could take it back out and put vinyl on everything without having to pull it out of the oven after two minutes. I'm not sure which was better, but that's what I decided to do. Okay, I'm now putting on the third color, the black. I've already applied the vinyl that I'm going to remove after two minutes and yeah pretty much the same at this point going forward I will mention I had a little bit of a problem getting the powder on the edge so make sure before you put it in the oven that you really have everything coated the last thing I did was I pulled it back out and I put a little bit more on that edge which is uh, turned out to be a little bit of a mistake that second coat created created a situation where the powder was a little bit brittle so when I did pull the vinyl off I took a little bit of powder that wasn't part of the design with the vinyl and anyway you'll see the, the end result the customer is extremely happy but I was a little bit frustrated
All right, here I'm pulling the vinyl off. And the very first thing I notice is a little bit of powder stretches and gets onto the L. I'm not happy about that. Then I get down to the rank and when I start pulling it off, that's when I noticed I was taking a little bit more powder than I wanted. It was coming off between the stripes, leaving a little area there where the stripes were messed up. I hated it. I wish it wouldn't have happened. I was willing to redo it. But when I showed it to the customer, they were like, oh man, this thing is awesome. So sometimes as uh, powder coaters or artists, we're much harder on ourselves and our work than the customer ultimately is. But personally, I probably, if I wouldn't have been in a rush to get it to them for Father's Day, I probably would have redone it for the third time and not even mentioned that I had to redo it. All right, here's the finished product. The front, the back. This is why we call it the mullet cup. This is the business end of it. And as you turn it around, you'll see the party side, the mullet cup. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and as always, like, comment, or subscribe.